What's good, YouTube? So today I'll be giving my reasons for why I think Dimitri Bibble absolutely dominates Zerto Gilberto Ramirez. Uh, Gilberto is a good fighter, definitely, but I don't think he can beat Bibble. I think Bibble is just too skillful boxer. Um, if you look at their wins, they both came in good shape, and I think that's a very important factor to this fight. I think that um, you know Ramirez being so big, he came in at 203 pounds after the win in his last fight. I think he's gonna be trying to use weight advantage, try to bully Bibble. Um, he is six foot three. He's much bigger than Bibble. I think that Ramirez will have some success in the earlier rounds using his jab, throwing some good combinations. But I think Bibble will be starting to warm up by the fourth round. I think he's taking control of this fight. I still think that Ramirez will have some points throughout this fight, land some really big shots on um, Bibble. But I think that Ramirez has shown to be extremely slow in the lack of defense and has shown to especially struggle when going off the bat foot. I think that Bibble will be letting Ramirez come forward with some points throughout the fight. Um, throwing the one, two, you know, one, two, three, throwing combinations. Using his jab to lead the fight like he did against Canelo. Just throwing that joint like a shotgun. Bop, 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 bop. That jab is going to be in Ramirez's face all night. Ramirez is shown to be very, very defensively liable against fighters like Yasaki you know, Gonzalez and Jesse Hart. Dudes was able to hit him a lot. And um, if those was able to do it, and while they're not bad fighters, they're journeymen. They're dudes that are not really supposed to be giving you that much trouble. And if you're struggling with those dudes at a certain points throughout the fight, I definitely think that Bivol, a much much skilled fighter, would just beat one of the pound for pound talents at Canelo. I definitely think he's going to just put on a dominant performance against Ramirez. Ramirez, like I said, he's big, he's slow, he likes to throw a lot of punches, um, likes to use his size to try to wear you down. However, I just don't think that's going to be effective against Bivol, um, unless he can hurt Bivol. If Joe Smith was able to do it, I think definitely Ramirez can. The question is, can he implement the success? Um, that's a tr that's a true question of the fight. Um, Joe Smith did hurt Bivol, but he wasn't able to follow up. And Bivol, after that, he recovered. He started to put on even more of a beating on um, Joe Smith. So I think that Ramirez, he can definitely hurt Bivol. And maybe you can use his size to edge out the decision. Or be the first man to knock out Bivol. It's definitely a chance in that fight. So I'm giving him a punch of chance in this fight. However, I just think it's a superior boxer who has a lot of um, lateral footwork. Who knows how to get away with punches. And it's very, very good defense, and Bivol ultimately win this fight because he's a very, very good boxer. Um, if Bivol wins this fight, though, like I think he is, he should definitely go fight Arthur Better be for Undisputed. All right, we, I'm tired of people saying, oh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford need to fight. Rah, 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 you know, call out Bivol and Better be for fighting. These dudes have been in the same division for years, all right. Who knows how long Better be for as long as the top. He's already 37 years old. That fight needs to happen. If better be if he knocks out Anthony Yard in their fight, you need to see that fight happen immediately in 2023. That's a great fight to happen. Both these dudes on the pound for pound list. You know, it's the question of can Bill Wild box better be if or better be if make Bill succumb to the 100% knockout ratio. We already know that better be if is one of the most ridiculous knockout artists in boxing. Probably only second or third to somebody like Javante Davis or Deontay Wilder. He has that much power. It's a very, very interesting fight. And, you know, like I said it's for undisputed. All the titles light heavyweight. We need more undisputed championships in boxing. Um, but wrapping this video up, I have Ramirez getting out box solidly. Him having some good points throughout this fight. But Bibble ultimately just dominating this fight. Counter punching in between, using his jab. Um, just showing why he is one of the best. And um, I think it's going to be a fun fight to watch. But this is not seeing the dream. Rocky Chase is next to sleep. Aha, I shall another one. Peace.